Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Pamiria back with another Dokkan battle video. So with the four year anniversary on Global, literally less than a week away at this point, I'm sure all of you guys are super hyped for all of the new events and characters that we're about to get. But in my opinion, the most exciting thing to come out of all of this is definitely the three different colored gacha coins that JP has had for a very long time. And at this point, I think most people should have a general idea of how they work, but if you have no clue what I'm talking about right now, then this is definitely a video that you want to pay close attention to because the information I'm about to tell you is very important. And in this video, I just want to quickly go over exactly how you guys can get your hands on these coins as well as what they're used for. So if all of that sounds good to you guys, then let's jump right in. And we're actually going to start by popping down to the bottom of the page here to check out the... Let's see, explanation section. And as you can see, it says only available on the Japanese version, which is technically true right now, but it's not going to stay that way for long. Basically, what's going to happen is once the four year anniversary officially begins on global, three new items are going to be added to the game in the form of three different colored coins, a red coin, a gold coin, and a blue coin. And the way to get these coins is listed right here. It says one coin, will be rewarded for every 5 Dragonstone spent on summons. Free summons will not be rewarded any coins, and the coins can be found in your gift box. So, I think this is very important to note because a lot of people seem to think that you will get 10 coins every time you do a multi, regardless of what kind of multi you're doing, and that's not true. Basically, it's based on the number of Dragonstone spent. So, if you're doing a free multi, you get 0 coins. If you do a discounted multi, let's say it's a full multi of 10 characters, for 30 stones, then you're only getting 6 coins from that multi as opposed to the regular 10. Only when you do a full price multi will you get 10 coins, and if you do a single, obviously you get 1 coin. So, one very important thing to note, and the coin that you get for your summons will be based on the kind of banner that you're summoning on. So it says 3 different types of coins will be rewarded depending on which summon the Dragonstones have been used. So we have the red coin, which will be rewarded for summoning on Dokkan Festival banners. We have the gold coin, which you get for summoning on Legendary Summon banners. And finally, we have the blue coin, which you get for summoning on pretty much every other banner that requires stones that's not a Dokkan Fest banner or a Legendary Summon banner. And that's all there is to know guys about how to get your hands on these three new items, these three different colored coins. Oh, and one other important thing to note is that once you get these coins in your account, they don't go away. You get to keep them forever until you spend them. As you can see it says, the coins will be carried over to different summons whenever the current ones end. So that's it, one coin for every five stones spent, and the type of coin that you get depends on the type of banner that you're summoning on. Now, the question becomes, what can you use these coins for? And this is the exciting part. So we're going to pop up to the top of the page now and start with the red coins first. And here we go. Okay, so we're going to start with the Dokkan Festival coins, which are the red coins. And basically how they work is that you can use these coins in the Bob Shop to exchange for Dokkan Fest exclusive units such as LR Vegito, LR Gogeta, Transforming Goku, Transforming Frieza, UI Goku, SSB Vegeta, and so on and so forth. Now, it's not always going to be like this because the pool of characters that are available in the Bob Shop actually changes depending on which Dokkan Fest banner is available at the time. So this is actually showing the pool of characters that were available at the time of the 4 year anniversary on JP and most likely this is what it's going to look like for Global as well barring any you know, major changes to the featured units, but I don't think it's going to be the case, so it's probably going to look like this. And uh, it's pretty it's pretty crazy, to be honest, that you can get one of the uh, three-year LR fusions for, well, not free, but you can eventually collect enough coins to get them in the Baba Shop. And they cost the most out of all the units because they are LRs, after all, so it's 500 coins for either LR Vegito or LR Gogeta, which, if you do the math, uh, works out to 2,500 stones spent, which I know is a lot, and I've heard people complain about this in the past, and even now, to be honest, and they're like, oh, it's too many stones I have to spend to get, you know, enough coins to exchange for one of these units, but you gotta keep in mind, guys, that in the past, if you got a completely shaft multi, you got nothing for it, man. Like, that was just a waste of stones right there. At least now, if you get a shaft multi with nothing useful, you can 
you know, get some coins to save up towards one of these units that you really want, whether it be these guys or, um, you know, Dragon Ball Super, Gogeta, or Broly. They'll become available later on when they're featured in a future banner and, uh, you know, any other unit that you're missing. So I think it's a very, very nice feature. I know, you know, 2,500 coins or stones to spend for these coins is a lot, but uh, they do add up over time. So. I very much, very much like this feature. I think it's a great addition to the game and I'm very, very excited for it. Anyways, so the LRs are 500 coins for, you know, a change rate of 2,500 stones spent to get that coins or get those coins. And then if you move down to the category leads, I mean, technically these guys aren't category leads, but they're kind of in the same uh, realm. These guys cost 400 coins each. So transforming Goku, transforming Frieza, UI Goku, SSBE, STR Jiren, MVP 17. All these guys cost 400 coins, which is equivalent to 2,000 stones spent. And then if we move down to the 120% leads, these guys cost 200 coins, which is 1,000 stones spent. So if you guys are missing some of these uh, 120 leads, you can get them here as well. So these, uh, this is the pool that was available for JP for the LR Super Saiyan 4s. And like I said, I think globals should be very similar, if not the exact same, depending on you know if they make any changes or not. All right, moving down now, I'll just show you guys a few more examples. So for the uh, Int Kid Goku banner, these were the Dokkan Fest units that were uh, available to be exchanged for because these were the featured units aside from the main one. So basically the main new unit is never gonna be um, available in the Bob Shop because whales would just like whale out really hard and if they get unlucky they would eventually be able to buy it and I don't think Bandai wants them to do that. So all the other units essentially except for the main unit like the Int Kid Goku here will be available in the Bob Shop for purchase through coins. As you can see, these three category leads are all 400 coins each, whereas the 120 lead Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is only 200 coins. And finally, there's one other type of unit you can exchange your red coins for in the Baba Shop, and that would be Extreme Z Awakenable units, which go for 150 coins each, which is equivalent to 750 Dragon Stones spent. So I'm sure you guys get the point. Let's move on now to the gold coins, which I think is very intriguing to a lot of people. Mainly because you can exchange these coins for LRs. And of course, they'll never let you actually use these coins for the newest LR at the time. So this was for the LR GT Trio and LR Baby Banner, and they're not available here. But pretty much every other non Dokkan Fest exclusive LR up to that point was available in the shop with the gold coins and 500 gold coins will get you one copy of either you know LR Goku and Frieza, LR Cell, LR Bardock, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, uh, if you want one of the OG LRs maybe LR Broly, LR Majin Vegeta, so on and so forth which I personally think is pretty insane. Of course 500 coins equals 2,500 stones spent which most people are not going to be able to get in one banner but over time like I said it adds up and you know after a couple months of saving um, you guys should eventually get enough coins to get a free L well free quote unquote LR in the Baba shop which uh, is pretty awesome so that's the gold coins right there and finally we have the blue coins the miscellaneous summons and uh, that includes this Kai banner includes pretty much all the category banners and you can use these coins to get either a uh, Elder Kai for 10 coins, which I don't necessarily recommend, but if you guys are really hurting for Kais, I guess it's an option. And you can also use them for all of the 40% uh, supports from each of these type banners. So for 300 coins, you can get, you know, an AGL Pan or a Tech Tien or an Int Gohan and so on and so forth. So. That's pretty much it guys. That's all I got to say in this video. Um, I don't think I can explain it any better than I just did. But if you guys still have questions, if there's still something that's unclear you feel like you want me to elaborate on, then feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to help you guys out. Um, you know, I'm usually not bad at answering questions, but sometimes I can get busy. So try to not get mad at me if I don't answer your question in a timely manner or maybe at all, but I will try my best. I promise, I will try my best. But anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you found it helpful, 
And before you go, let me know in the comments down below which units, whether it be a Dokkan Fest unit or an LR, are you planning to save those coins for? For me personally, my first Dokkan Fest unit I want to pick up when he becomes available most likely will be Tech Hit. And my first LR is probably going to be Goku and Frieza whenever I get you know enough coins to pick up those guys. And that's it guys, enjoy the 4 year anniversary, it's gonna be a lot of fun, I can't wait for it, lots of content coming soon of course for that, and as always, if you guys liked the video, make sure to like the damn video, and if it's the first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. But that's all I gotta say. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media. Signing out.